Now we're on to valve adjustments. Valve adjustments are probably the number one thing that people get wrong when it comes to their engine not starting. So if I look, I'm on 312. And right here it says set the piston near top dead center or fully up of the cylinder on the compression stroke. Both valves fully closed. By pulling the recoil starter, well, we don't have the recoil starter on right now, so we just need to rotate the crankshaft. So I'm going to show you how to get to top dead center on the cylinder right now. So what I did was I took that 23 millimeter socket and I put my nut on and now I can turn this and see what's going on. And then I'm looking straight down the spark plug hole here. And right now I'm watching as this comes up, I'm putting the screwdriver, don't put something that can fall in there down there because then we got to rip the whole engine back apart. I'm going to put the screwdriver on and I'm looking for top dead center on the compression stroke. Intake valve was just open. Now I'm coming up to the compression stroke. Right there is top dead center on the compression stroke. I'll keep going around to show you what else is happening. Now I'm seeing the exhaust valve open because there's the muffler. Here's where the carburetor goes on. There is top dead center. Right here both valves are moving. That's now intake stroke going down. Opened up the intake valve. Coming back up, both valves are closed. And that's all the way out. And that is top dead center of the compression stroke. Now it says, I need a valve clearance, which means between this little rocker arm here and the end of the valve. So the end of that valve wears eventually. And this rocker arm wears eventually. And I slipped it all the way off, so I'm going to have to take it off and fix it. It's a nice thing about engines. Whatever we do, we can undo. So I'm going to tighten that up. When that's tight, there is zero clearance. If I keep tightening it, I'll actually hold the valves open a little bit, and the engine won't run. It says the valve clearance, so the gap in between there, not in the point between the rocker arm and the push rod, between the valve and the rocker arm, the valve has to be 0.15 on the intake and 0.20 on the exhaust in millimeters. So I'm grabbing a set of feeler gauges here. And on the set of feeler gauges, I can see right on this one here pretty good, the top number, 0.014 here, that one is millim or inches. The bottom is millimeters. So I need to be 0.2. I'm going to do the exhaust first. So I'm going to look for the one. This one here is 203 or 0.008 inches or 203 millimeters. That's the one I'm going to work with. Now to test this, I want to keep this nice and clean. I'm going to take my micrometer and set it to 8, 0.008 inches. I zeroed it out. Now I can feel what that should feel like. Open it up. Touch it down on there. Notice I'm at 8. And now I should be able to feel how much drag I'm trying to feel on here. So I'm putting that underneath there. Loosening it up. And tightening it. Until I can feel some pretty good drag. Now I know if I go a little bit too tight I can feel I can't move this at all. If I go a little bit too loose, there is no drag at all. So I'm feeling that drag. It should be the same as I had in the micrometer. 
there's a good amount of drag. Now I'm going to leave that in. And this is where it's really helpful to have a partner. I don't have a partner today. So one person is going to work. You put the 14 millimeter box end wrench on the end of that rocker arm pivot. You put the 10 millimeter socket for the end of that rocker arm. That was the 11 for some reason. Where did my 10 go? I'll be back with you in a second, folks. There's my 10. And this is seven foot pounds, which is 84 inch pounds. We're going to set it at 70 inch pounds. So I'm pulling that. I'm holding this in position. And I'm lightly tightening. And right now I'm stuck, so that means I need to go down with this a little bit. More than I wanted. So now you can see that they're both opening. Because as I tighten it up there, it just started sliding. There we go. I can slide can't slide or I can slide decent. Then I'm going to start tightening again. As I tighten a little bit, I want to check. This should slide yet. Boom, I just felt it. So now that slides, you can almost hear it, and that's tightened up. I do the same thing for my intake here now. This one is instead of 0.2, it's 0.15 millimeters. So I'm looking again, 0.152 millimeters. Let's see if I can show you that one. It's 0.06 inches, 0.152 millimeters. I know what it feels like now. Slipping that in, tightening the pivot down. I can just barely move it, which is okay. I can adjust it here. Need to loosen it up. I just put some pressure on it again. And again, this is where it's helpful to have your friend so friend can do the feeler gauge. You can do these two wrenches. I don't have any friends, so I gotta do it by myself. So I'm moving this to the left, boom. Just barely, you'll feel it. Super lightweight. Should be able to get that feeler gauge just in there. And it should be nice and tight there. And that's how you set the valves on the GX340 engine.